Hey, how's it going? Welcome to One Minute Tutorials. So before we get started, a quick lesson on the anatomy of a MIDI message. As most people know, MIDI doesn't actually have a sound. MIDI is just the language for us to communicate with synthesizers, samplers, and some effects. The way that works is through sending MIDI messages. So for example, there's the MIDI note on message. A MIDI note on message has three bits of information in it. The channel is going through, the note name, and the last bit is velocity. So is it a really quiet note or is it a really loud note? So when we press a key, these three bits of information are sent. When we release a key, a MIDI note off message is sent. And a MIDI note off message has the same note name and the same channel name, but the velocity is set to zero. These two messages are then sent to the computer. The duration of the note is calculated by calculating the distance between the MIDI note on and the MIDI note off message. So after those bits of information are conveyed, something happens in a VST instrument, for example. Either you're triggering the mechanism of a synthesizer like this, or you're triggering a sample like with drum plugins. Something that happens is sometimes you get a really long note. Let's say I got this arpeggiator thing going. Let me play it. So this is just kind of an arpeggiator. It's gonna go for four measures and after four measures, drums are gonna kick in. But let's say I'm now editing the drums and every time I edit the drums, I wanna play it from here. Our synth is not playing. The problem is that the MIDI note on message is all the way back here, right? There's no message contained in the middle of a MIDI note. So that could get kind of annoying. There is this kind of hidden command that doesn't exist in the preferences as far as I know. It's called chase MIDI note ons in project playback. So if I run it, what that means is as long as my cursor plays from anywhere within a MIDI note, even if the MIDI note on is further back behind, it will recall that MIDI note on so I can play it from here and it works. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions regarding Pro Tools, Reaper, SWS, all of those things, just let me know in the comments and I'll make you a video in one day. See you later.